drop below a thousand or we're done. Hello everyone, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 1.6 with Mueller Cucumber and sadly no Ludo. Well, he bent, went home again and so we couldn't record together anymore. Alright, so, um, let's see, I, uh, yeah, we invested in some upgrades, I think we upgraded the mission control building, and, um, yeah, so, I've been going through all of these missions, <clears throat> pretty much, most of them are, I'm not gonna say impossible to do, but just simply not going to give you enough money, it's the sadness of this all, it just, that's the case, um, all of this, these tests, there's no longer the, the carry stuff, there's no longer the landed at Kerbin. And these are actually, despite having one star, really, really difficult. Unless you have space planes, which are bugged to hell with me for some reason. I've tried to actually record this earlier and get some space planes built. And it didn't go so well. So we're not doing that. Um, so this guy wants a orbit around Kerbin. For that price? Dude, that's the missile that gets you there. That's... that's just nuts. Um... Yeah, we're not doing that. That's not worth the money. Um, we want to have some more money so we can start upgrading uh, buildings like the VAB <clears throat> and building bigger rockets. Right now that's one of the main problems we have. I'm going to leave this facility for a second. I'm going to skip to the next morning. And then skip to the next morning. I'm just going to skip five times so that we can see what, what kind of missions we're going to get. Just randomize the missions. That's now the plan. One more time. Gaboom. So we're a week ahead now. Lots of these are now no longer... There we are. Test the Mark 55 dud liquid fuel thing at the launch site. Now that's an easy one. We can do that really easy. And there's four tourists who want to orbit the planet. Okay. Suborbital, no. Suborbital, wow, okay. Those are really good things unless, well, Problem is, ooh, he, they, these guys want to do suborbital flight. Okay, that's something we can do now, because we can build a rocket with a two-seater uh, capsule if we take the right um, kind of thing. But this is definitely worth doing. So we're doing this. There we go. And we could even cram in a third. If we are smart about it. Yeah, these observational things are horrible. They're horrible. They seem to be very good. Unless you have problems with bugs like I do. Um, the orbit around Kerbin. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. This is interesting as well. This is definitely a moneymaker. Rovemax Model S2. Out of a escape trajectory from Kirby. 75,000 though. I mean, if we build a rocket that's strong enough to push on an escape trajectory from Kirby, like, it's ridiculous. I mean, it's really hard. Then you know, we could just send it on its way and we'd get this much money. 75,000. That's nuts. Um. We could do this, I guess. We could do this. We have four years to complete it. Get some people into orbit. These four, though. That's also worth it. That is also worth it. I'm sort of tempted to just do this. This has a five-year duration on it. And that's like a lot of money. If we take them all up in one go, once we have the right upgrades... That's a lot of money. We could just get them into orbit and then back. And that, you know, that's all they want. That's all, that's all they want. That's not too hard. This one is also doable. 
think. I think this is also doable. Not sure. All right, that's it for now. I'm gonna leave it there, and then we're gonna just. We need to get that other thing tested. So we'll get a probodobodyne, and then there's this thing, which is experimental. Yeah. All right. Well, just sort of stick one to the edge here, and then reduce its thrust to near nothing. There we go. And then get some fuel, of course. Need some fuel. Sort of like that. That 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 should do. We should, we'd be fine doing this. Re. Uh, the um the the test thing. Yeah, we'll call it the test. We'll just test. Let's not uh, give it too much of a name here. Launch. Now the question is, how do we test this? Run test. That's all we do? That's all we do. There, we're done. Shut down engine. Contract complete. 4,000. Uh, one point of science. Recovery vessel. There we go. <laughs> That's all we needed to do. Easy. Alright. Good job. And that pumped our funds up a little bit. Not much. But, you know, enough to be happy with it. Now we could go for um, this. Get a crew cabin. And then we could take people into orbit, technically. If we play our cards right. It's a one ton mass piece of equipment. But it might work for us in this case. We'll get struts out of this too, which is nice. Or... We could get this thing, the P re-entry model. An extra Kerbal will fit in here, but we'd have to fly it by wire. And with this, we technically don't have to fly it by wire. So I'm really tempted because struts are really useful. They're one of the more useful things in the game. To get this, let's get this. Might be a mistake. We'll get all the parts right now. I know it's not saving money, but we'll get the money our money's worth, is what I'm saying. Contract complete. There we go. Alright. Let's get rid of this. Um, let's open a different one. The um, orange bastard, striped bastards, the yellow bastard. Was it the striped bastard 3? get us up there you know what I think it might be didn't we have an M version of this wait hold the phone how far back is this oh, no 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 we're good I was like what no way okay well never mind um We'll take out the uh, the Stripe Bastard 3 for the time being. There we go. <clears throat> and does it have extra bits that it doesn't need? Actually, it does. Don't need these extra flipper floppers at the bottom. We really don't. Well, actually, no. No, we don't. We don't. Really don't. We have no use for this right now. So it's fine. It is fine. That means we have an extra option here. And it's always nice to have extra options. Um, and we're going to do two things. First off, we're going to have somebody flying this thing. I know it's more expensive. But hey, it works. Utility, there it is. We're going to have the crew cabin in between here and here. And then, what we'll do... In fact, we're going to get rid of all of this. Just These things are just going to go as these because we need extra bits and pieces around our friend here specifically here this this should be on there 
that's more mass we have to push into orbit so we kind of need more fuel is what I'm thinking how are we in the weight department mm, it's not terrible we have a, a, an extra option for weight so we're fine I'm gonna put a fatter fuel tank there and a quite a bit more fat fuel tank over you know Then what can we do? Oh yeah, we now have the radial decouplers. You know what? That is really useful. However, could we fit in another radial decoupler? No, we can't. Unless... Wait, wait, wait. I know something we can skip on. And get the winglet. And then how far down can we drop that? Actually quite far. Okay, that's nice. This will keep us stable. This will keep us stable. And now, what we can do is move the whole thing up. <laughs> because I need a little bit more space at the bottom, if you please. Thank you very much. Yes. Because what we'll do is we're going to replace these, I think, with solid fuel boosters. That will make them a better... Oh, wait a minute. I think we'll need a little bit more fuel on this end. Just a teeny tiny bit more. Now one thing I need to tell you, this is a very bad idea. Having your wings at the middle of your rocket, bad idea, don't do it. However, we're going to do one thing at a time. Get those radio de radial decouplers in. No, not four. Just the two. The two is fine. The two will get us where we need to go. Oh. That's what I'm hoping for, at least. There we are. We have thumpers. Thumpers get you up really high. So, there we are. We'll just hope that they do in this particular situation as well. But obviously, we need to make them sli slightly more sleek. Aerodynamics. There we go. Give those a different color, just white. Just make them completely white. We, we can't actually repaint those, that's sad. Can we make these? Oh, beautiful. We can make this part orange. Let's make it orange. We'll call it the, um, the Orange Bastard 2. Um, mm, yeah, no, that's fine actually. There we go. Cool. Uh, how many parts do we have left? Oh, that's actually quite good. We're not in a terrible shape here. We could still make um, with an extra pair of these. Or, well, pair. Um, extra set of these. Now, of course... There is always a risk that these things hit us. 29 parts. Knowing that, could use the extra stability. There we go. I think this is our rocket. We'll call it the um, Orange Bastard M, Giant M, because it's gonna be a giant change going to space with this. Uh, staging looks good. Is what I'm saying here. Um, I think we'll move you down here before decoupling this thing. I would like to have that running if at all possible. Well, maybe we should have that running over here. I have no idea if this is going to work properly. This is 14,000 worth of rockets, so we have to be sort of careful. Jebediah will be flying. Bob hasn't even, you know. Oh look, we can, oh, we can give them different clothing. Um, Bartfall. Let's see. Let's look at the um, look at the mission specs for a second. Linoli and Isophon. Want to? Uh, maybe we should bring them first. Henry and Kamzer. So, ooh, really? 
Tamsur and Linoli are sim are the simple ones. Oh, oh, oh. They don't need to go to orbit. Well, we'll bring Linoli and Isofin right now. Or Kamzer. You know, just to bring in some some cash. Just to, they're, they're safe to test on. <laughs> Save the orange bastard. Uh, let's launch. See where we go. All right. We're a little bit like a, a wobbly banana, but that's fine. And F5, make sure we quick save. And I'm going to go to two thirds throttle, make sure that when we hit, hit the engine, we don't uh, immediately push forward like a ridiculous redonkulous. This may be a little bit much of a launch. Actually, it's working out. I'm not terribly annoyed by this. Wow. That's quite a bit of strength going to the right of the rocket there. And you really need to push back on the stick there. And it actually is pushing us a little bit faster than I anticipated. A lot faster than I anticipated. But we're getting there, despite everything. Be a good test. There we go. We're off. How's the Apo? Well, it's already at 23 kilometers. That's not terrible. And we've got plenty of fuel to go. Yeah, we're actually doing quite well. I'm not at all unhappy with this. And this is going up quickly. Maybe a little steep. You know? But uh, no, this is, um, this is working. It took a little bit of steering there at the start, but it seems to be working. And we're actually going to burn right out of the atmosphere in this one. There we are, we've made orbit. I guess we could start uh, evening out. Okay, that's the end of the first stage. Get rid of it. Okay. And then start slowly burning our way towards victory. Oh. Poopy little engine. A little engine that could. There we are. And this starts increasing. You happy, you guys? Yeah? I hope you're happy because, you know, this is where we're going. Yeah. We're going into orbit. You know what orbit is? You probably don't. Alright. Alright, hold on. Until we get to the Apo, we will not do anything. Anything too crazy. This thing will definitely get us to orbit, I think, if I do this right. Contract parameter complete, yeah. Okay, so that pays for part of the rocket. Great. It's pretty amazing. Okay, we're over 80 kilometers. Once we hit 81, I'm gonna hit the thrusters again. There we go. And we're off. Exciting stuff, this. And we are... Yeah, we're clearing sort of the... We're coming close to the Apo, but we're not quite getting there, which is nice. This is running up quickly now. Uh, okay. Are we running up speed quickly enough? I think so. Yeah, this is working out quite well. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. Need I be more conservative with the fuel? I don't think so. 
I don't believe so. I think this is going really well, actually. So if this rocket works the way I want it to work, and it looks like it will. Okay, we're at the Apo. We should be just accelerating now. should be seeing uh, circularization very soon. Here we go. Oh, whoa! No, no, no! Oof. Okay, how much fuel do we have left after that little stunt? Okay, uh, that wasn't quite the idea. I accidentally hit the um, full acceleration uh, mode there for a second. Uh, but we're there. We are there. So this is working. I'm, I'm so glad. Uh, we've got a heat shield. We've got plenty of parachutes. Uh, I think we're going to make it back home as well. So that's kind of nice. Uh, I'm going to ret retrograde with this thing. Um, make sure we're we're there. Let's see. How much power do we have left? Oh, plenty. Okay. I'll just turn this off right now. Make sure that it's... Oop. Nope. No, no, no. Stay retro. Stay retro. There we go. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to just circle around. And um, I guess we'll... we'll oop. What we could do... This is my, my bad for messing up the uh, the brakes there. Um, what we could do is just get this down a little. Obviously I did not want to do this. I'm going to burn all our fuel. But some of it at least. Alright. That looks completely reasonable right now. There. That's how we're going to do it. There we go. Turn off SES. It's going to float our way to the periapsis there. And then from there we'll break and see if we can end up somewhere near the Kerbal Space Center. Which is, you know, kind of cool. That we can do that right now. Um, I'm just going to float there. I like the fact that this totally worked. Yay! Orbit around Kerbin. So this thing works. It has enough delta V to actually keep functioning. Which is also nice. We're going to make one round around the planet. Here we go. That's... I think that... No. Oh, we need a little bit more. A little bit more. And then we'll, once we hit this place, we're going to... Um, hit retro. Hit them retros. Or at least, you know, turn around. Okay, we've made that, uh, that. These little green stripes you're seeing, those are radio signals that we are now getting. Kind of nice. We could land in the, the desert airfield if we wanted to. Alright, turn back SAS. Get back in position there. Okay, yeah, we're, we're just turning around slowly. There we are. Jeb's gonna, gonna completely knock himself oh no 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 so I almost did something wrong <laughs> all right let's uh let's get this show on the road shall we that's fine that's all we need right now nope that's not what I wanted to do I'm not entirely sure what I did oh I did that okay docking mode there's no need to dock <clears throat> All right, once we're over to the Kerbal Space Center, I guess we'll break. F f well, we're going to break a little bit. De we're, we're near the desert airfield. We're not even near it. Desert air there's a, the desert airfield is also fine, in a way. Um, yeah, no, we're good. Uh, I think we're good. Ideally, we land over here. Not sure, though, if we are going to land over there. We're actually speeding up, which is <laughs> not so good. There's always a choice, you know, sort of saying, okay, or am I going to break some more? Um... Is it wise to break some more? Can we break some more? I mean, we're we gonna hit the uh, the thicker atmosphere. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're definitely not slowing down there. So, what we could do is expand all our fuel. That will definitely change the way we are going to land. Somewhat like this. I'm going to just flip around and make a little bit more... Well, no, let's not make more speed. That's a very bad idea, Cucumber. A very bad one. Right, let's... Do this. And then just flip her out. Flip around. Come on. Okay, and now my phone's ringing. Nah, that was the wife calling. Right, okay. That's, uh, is this thing already... Did we already dump this bit? No, is it... Can we get rid of this decouple? Yeah, okay, that's what I wanted. Alright, we no longer need SAS, presumably. And we are going to drop down into the desert fairly quickly, is what I'm thinking. I'm going to get into thicker air fairly quickly as well. We need to hold on to this, to the, uh, yeah, apparently we do. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting into the thicker air. I want to keep it up retro for as long as I can, so the heat shields take all the heat. And, oh wow, we're so low already. This may actually be the only flaw in this design. <laughs> but we are cutting speed. And we're still 30 kilometers up, so... Okay, we just lost 200 meters for surface speed. Come on, drop below a thousand or we're done. We could be hitting a mountain at this range of speed. Well, actually, we're cutting speed really quickly now, so... Mm, 24 kilometers up. Going into much, much thicker air. I think what we need is... Shoots to do their gerbs. Okay, yeah, okay. This is fine. This is not fine. Yeah, okay. Surface speed at 600 meters per second. We are slowing down. Thank goodness. Under 300 meters, we're fine. I think we're going to... Yep, we're going to make it. Oh, and it immediately opens. Or, well, does it? No, no, it doesn't. But that's fine. At least two of them should open at a relatively high distance uh, from the ground. I always wonder if it's radar distance that the game is uh, doing that with, but... Uh, oh wow, we're gonna hit the mountainside? Yeah, we are. Oh, open up! Oh, thank God, okay. Okay. That is a comfortable 7 meters per second. But it worked! The whole process worked, so that's cool. I'm glad. I'm very glad. Now we're just gonna float down gently. There's actually a lot of mountain under us. Can we do a crew report here? We can. Oh my. Okay, good. That's another three points of science, you know. That's also worth it. 
and Isafin and Cams are here are gonna be happy. We're gonna get paid for the rocket, which we can now reuse, rather the design can be reused. And uh, I think we're gonna have Jebediah uh, take a little walk here as well. And it looks like, yeah, we are definitely landing in the mountainous sort of area here. It's gonna take a while to dip down. At a comfortable five meters per second, they ascend, or descend, really. They don't ascend anymore. They no longer ascend. <laughs> Where are we with regards to the... Um, okay, yeah, we're very far from the desert launch site. Oh, it is a sad thing. And we're coming down pretty much straight down. Yeah. That's fine. We're in good shape. They're happy. I'm happy. I'm actually very happy with this result. And uh, the only thing I'm worried about is that they might not land on a flat piece of ground. That might happen. That's sort of worrying, but... And also it's gonna take a million years now because I decided to open the shoots early. I'm very sorry about that. We're gonna have to sort of figure that one out um, in the future for future use. We might wanna just replace these with drag shoots, I don't know. Drogue shoots, I'm sorry. Um, or the middle one with a drogue shoot and then these two will carry us, no problem. I think that's not even a bad idea. That will make the top of the rocket a little lighter. Not much. <laughs> a little bit. Although this of course is a radial mounted thing. Which works really well for this sort of thing. But yeah, this design is definitely a functional design. So, um, with a little luck, I'm thinking out loud here, but we we could consider getting it built in a way where we don't have this immediate drag from the um, solid fuel boosters. There we are, we're landing. Okay. Do we have a shadow? We don't. Oh yes, we do. There we go. Now we know how high we are potentially and we are down <sighs> here we go so what we'll do now is an EVA get an EVA report Keep our experiments oh we're just gonna let go that's fine Ooh, don't don't okay can you stand up again oh dear don't mess it up remove helmet because you no longer need it Plant a flag, it's kind of nice. And we could put a plaque on it as well. It's also kind of nice. Um, uh, okay. Jeb's vacation. It's Jeb's first vacation. This is like his, f his tourist success. First manned tourist flight. Because that's what it is. We didn't do this before. Um, can we do another EVA report? Maybe that's even... Well, okay. Yeah. It's fine. We can even remove his neck ring. <laughs> that sounds kind of worrying. Alright. We can't take a uh, surface sample. But that's fine. Alright. Recover vessel. And we'll recover you first. And then we'll recover the other thing from the space center. Okay, yeah, we've got some science from that, but um, we also need to recover the tourists still. Okie dokie, set. Oh, that's another mission, isn't it? Okay, we'll, we'll figure it out later, not now. 
Um, Alright, that's one to recover. Recover. Got some science out of that. And we got the money for the mission, I think. Yeah, we did. Look. Roll first. Planting flags at home. And this guy's itinerary, and this guy's itinerary. Cool. That made us quite a bit of money. That was uh, that was interesting. All right, I'm gonna leave it here because this has been a long episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like and a comment. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And remember, fly safe and all that. <laughs> I went so Scott Manly on you. I'm sorry. See you next time.